Hello, hello, Whovians, old Mr. Whoviews. Today I'm doing Doctor Who for to Doomsday. Um, in this, uh, the fifth Doctor tries to get Tegan to the Heathrow Airport to start her, uh, stewarded's, uh, job. Uh, they end up on, uh, a ship that looks to have a very advanced technology. Um, the, eventually they meet the, 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 let's say, people that run the ship, the leader is called, um, a monarch and his two ministers are called um, Enlightenment and Persistence. Um, they have a green skin and Doctor called them the frogs. But later on, uh, uh, Enlightenment and Persistence so up as looking like humans. And not just that, they look exactly like. Uh, a Tegan sketch that she drew when uh, when uh, Enlightenment as was the fashion on Earth these days. So, uh, turns out they have uh, some other uh, humans on the ship. One is a a, a Greek. Another is a. Uh, an Incan princess, a uh, Australian Azrini, a Chinese uh, general, I think. I was guessing. And it turned out that the a monarch and the others have gone to her a few times. Um. Also, it turns out that the, there's a lot more humans here, but it turned out not. Exactly, humans. They're uh, cyborgs, and basically, a uh, um, monarchs that race are uh, actually computer ships. Oh no, the the race is a uh, are flesh, but they can be their memories and that can be put into computer ships and into its robotic bodies. Yeah, it turns out Monarch actually destroyed their home planet by taking its minerals as he wants to go backwards in time to meet himself. And they're about to do that to Earth. Yeah. Um, when he gives a uh, and Nissa and uh, Average a story that he wants to free Earth of all uh, like uh, war, hunger and that Adric all for it but this is a sees it as a tyranny and they do connect this to uh, uh, Catherine Valley with Tegan explaining what happened to her father and, and that and uh, turns out one of the uh, robots, the Greek one, is against what the monarch is doing. You know, monarch has that poison. Yeah, maybe, maybe I supposed to get turned to Europe, but I think they said it was supposed to turn the humans into salt that they resisted them. Mm. And then see the other. Uh, well, let's join in in the, in the resistance. And Tegan and Adric get to a fight when it, Tegan wants to just leave and tell people or tell the Earth what's about to happen. But the Doctor is right. Nobody would believe them. They'd probably think they're crazy or something. And yeah, Tegan tries trying to fly the TARDIS. Uh, she just gets it out of that minor ship. Yeah. Uh, I also like to see where Doctor Rhymes convinced uh, Adric that uh, the, mon the uh, monarch is a uh, uh, bad and saying that Adric, uh, you don't think he's good enough to believe that uh, 
monarch since uh, since uh, since what we went through in the uh, rebellious or yeah rebellious day like a like it's home home world. And this is a lot of guys just manipulating the monarch and manipulating them because you need the uh, Adric to tell the people here that they're in peace. And with the knee or the cake and just whine a lot. If it's not about our job, it's just uh, about the time you're out and then you just getting frustrated too much. I know this, that this, you, you got um, annoyed when Adric and the doctor told to be patient. But a little patience goes a long way. And yes, the doctor. Uh, might get seen there late, but you also might get there early since the tired is a time machine, so. Mm. And the uh, Deathly Cats are missing twice in this, so. I don't know. I get why they think it gives us that screen time some of the characters and their woods and tree companions in this. And at the end, Mr. does a, a collapse and just leads him into a, the, the, to a, a kinda, the, the story after this, so, hmm, what's the second I think. Um, I don't know how the Doctor got to the turn if he's in space, I'm just floating there. <laughs> I, I don't know if he took that, if he took down there. Uh, Uh, enlightenment and persistence, or just kill them. Uh, why would a monarch make a poison that also affects him? What do you want to make when it's just affected their earth flesh or something? Well, I don't know why Dr. Game the uh, air helmet thing, since he's probably just a grain of salt. <sighs> yeah, well. Anyway, I think uh, this story is okay. A, a little better than a uh, Castro Val, but I think uh, Kenda is probably a bit better. And uh, I think Dayson was a better, a better this than a uh, in Castro Val. The African fool that yeah, first I thought. It was a bit, he was getting to feel a bit easy when the doctor was saying that he, he was probably taken in because of his uh, upbringing back in uh, his home world or because of uh, his uh, everybody stays back there. It kind of made sense. And then, uh, this is using the sauce screwdriver on some robots was that kind of goes well and the room joke that the doctor's pockets are bigger on the inside was that. Uh, Good. I also wonder why he had a piece of string in his pocket. Like I get the glasses and the cricket ball, but why a piece of string? Is it mine or something? Ugh, I don't know. Uh, I think Dr. Payne Monarch was a pretty good. He, he does seem that he can pull off his get civilized going into over controlling the dictator or whatever. Um yeah it's a decent episode for season nineteen but it wouldn't be one of my favorite. That's he forgot about it before I before I reviewed it so probably forget about it again so so anyway uh until time I'm still see you guys later.